Poppy maakt a flower crown. Wool, scissors, crochet needle, iron wire, pliers, and a wire cutter. Next week it is King's Day in Holland. That is a day when we celebrate our King's birthday. And I always like to dress up. So I thought, King's Day, King, Crown. How about a flower crown? That is why today I am going to show you how you can crochet a flower crown. I will show you step by step how to crochet a flower crown. To make the flower crown, you will be needing wool, I'm using a light green and a orange and a yellow one for the flowers. Scissors, crochet needle, iron wire, A wire cutter. Start by cutting a piece of wire long enough so it would fit your head and then some extra. You could use a measuring tape to measure your head if you want it to fit perfectly. Be careful cutting the wire or Ask an adult to help you. Form the wire into a big enough circle and fold the excess wire around the circle. So the wire stays in place and the circle will hold its shape. Take your plier and fold the ends of the excess wire double to avoid sharp ends sticking in your head. Keep wrapping the wire. Flatten your wrapped wire with your plier and dull sharp ends if you have them. Now you are going to crochet over the wire with the green wool using a simple slip stitch or a single crochet. Make a loop, take your circle and crochet needle Place the circle on the wool so you can crochet over the wire. Continue to crochet over the wire until you have crocheted the full circle. Go and crochet over the beginning one more time so you know for sure it won't be sticking in your head.
You will now need to crochet some flowers. I think I will give my crown a lot of flowers. Maybe 10 to 12. This flower I will show you is made with a yellow center and six orange petals. First, make a chain of five, then turn it into a circle. Now crochet over the circle 12 times with a single crochet stitch. By placing the hook in the middle, grabbing the yarn, pulling it through the middle, you will now have two loops. Grab the yarn again and pull it through the loops. Once you have done this 12 times, finish off and change the yellow wool for the orange. I will now show you how to make the petals. Make a triple crochet with the orange wool in one stitch. Place your needle in the second stitch and make two more triple crochets in the same stitch. Don't pull the yarn through the previous loops when you go and make a new triple crochet. This way you will end up with three loops on your needle.
Now pull the yarn through the three loops. This will bring them together. Make a chain of three. Place your needle in a new stitch and secure the chain with a slip stitch. Continue with a triple crochet in that stitch. Two more in the next one. Bring them together. Make a chain of three and secure the chain. Continue these steps until you have six petals. Once you have enough flowers, attach them to your crown by just knotting it onto the wire with the excess yarn. Give it a few good knots and cut off the excess yarn. You are now done making your own flower crown. You can wear it on King's Day, but also on any other day of course. Have fun making your own flower crown. For more co-ideas, go check out my blog poppymaakt.blogspot.nl If you have any ideas or requests on what I should make or bake next, please leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss a thing. And also, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Pinterest. All under the name Poppy Maakt. That's P-O-P-P-Y-M-A-A-K-T. Poppy Maakt.